Hey guys, it's Sarah. Okay, Made in EM just got released yesterday and I'm gonna be making a whole video reaction to that. So just wait for that to happen because I'm gonna be going ballistic. Okay, so here we go. Harry Styles tattoos and Louis Tomlinson's tattoos, they pretty much correlate and just for Louis getting this fucking lighthouse tattoo, I'm now gone. I'm still not over Louis getting the fucking dagger tattoo, so. Just give me a moment. Brianna Jungle Worms um, fucking sex tape got leaked. And for all of you that saying like it's fake or like it didn't happen or whatever, no, 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 there were pictures of it. I'm not gonna put them on here because my video would be flagged. I mean, I didn't see the video and I'm glad I didn't see the video because I probably would have gagged on fucking like, I don't even know. Basically a guy was like fucking her and she was pretty much enjoying it. And all I'm just gonna say is that the fact that, it, that this is real, her and Louie aren't together, and there's no baby happening. Even if this thing never came out, I would still tell you that this baby was not happening, but this is just 100% proof now that this baby's not happening. This sex tape pretty much came out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere just like Adele's Hello music video came out of nowhere. Okay, basically for the past like couple weeks, maybe even months, Louie and Harry, okay, like basically this is next to you, zero to a hundred real quick. Like Louie and Harry have been sitting next to each other in all the fucking photo shoots, all the fucking interviews, all the fucking like videos and pictures that I've been seeing. And like, I don't, I don't even know where this is coming from. Like literally zero to fucking a hundred. Like this was not happening like freaking months ago, but now Louie and Harry just like sitting next to each other like all the fucking time. Like I don't even understand. Um, I actually, I don't even care if I don't understand just the fact that they're sitting next to each other and not even sitting next to each other. Like they're just like interacting, talking to each other. I don't care. I don't care where this came from. I don't care why. I just know that it's happening. It's happening. And that's all I care about. And it's fucking amazing. It's fucking beautiful. And I hope this continues for the rest of eternity. One Direction did a Jonathan Ross interview and they were playing the game Never Have I Ever. And one of the questions was, have you ever had sex on a plane? And they had these paddles and on one side it says I have and on the other side it said uh, never and so when they got asked this question have you ever had sex on a plane uh, Louis and Liam had the paddles facing up saying I have and then I think Harry looked to Louis and he was going to put the I have side up I think he did but then after that he threw it behind the fucking couch and it was it reminded me of that interview when he like threw that like fucking candy lollipop over to the, the, the like side of the couch it was so funny basically what this means is that Louis and Liam and kind of Harry they all basically implied that they're a part of the mile high club I think one of the boys like said that they were like the interview you were joked about it but basically the mile high club is basically when you have sexual intercourse on like planes and anything like flying in the air or whatever that's what the mile high club is and basically half of one direction admitted that they are part of the Mile High Club and that they've had sex on a plane. And oh guys, this is bringing me back memories to when fucking uh, uh, Harry's shirt was ripped and then Louis's hair was like messed up or like whatever. Remember like uh, Lairport 2.0 or 3.0 or something? Like they were on a fucking plane for 14 fucking hours. Like, oh my fucking God. So just the fact that now like they've admitted to having sex on a plane and Louis and Harry were on a plane for like 14 hours, like, oh my gosh, like the puzzle pieces, everything is just coming together and I love it. It's more evidence. Okay, so during one of the interviews, the interviewer was asking about one of the songs that they sang and they were wondering about, like, you know, the lyric her or whatever, like talking about, like, oh, who's the her in the song? Or like, you know, just talking to Harry about it. Of course, they directed it towards Harry. They were talking about her in the song and Harry, the wonderful being he is, and I'm sure this got cut from the interview, but it was like the raw footage of it that somebody saw. And they said that Harry said, well, since I'm media trained, I'll tell you. And oh my gosh, Harry Styles, he's so brave for saying this. I know Harry has said very brave things in interviews before, like little hints that basically say that, hey, we're still controlled, blah, blah, blah. But he literally said, well, since I'm media trained, I'll tell you. Like, that is like the most we've ever got out of him for basically implying that they get told what to say or like they're heavily controlled by their team of people. So I'm like, Oh my gosh, this just like proves like everything. Like when they're talking about gender pronouns and like her and like girls and stuff like that in interviews. But basically during the interview, we learned that Niall hasn't been in a fight. He hasn't been arrested. He's never had sex on a plane. He's never blamed a fart on a dog and he's never been naked in public. But Niall has danced naked in the rain and has smelled hairy. Of course he's smelled hairy, what the fuck? So, innocent little Niall, he's never had a tattoo, he's never done any of those things, but all the other boys are like, no, I've done this. 
Niall is so pure and in innocent. He's an innocent being. But this interview will be out on the 21st, so if that little part about Harry saying something about the media train thing, if that's cut, we all know why, because that was not supposed to be in there. So I can't wait till the 21st to see this whole fucking interview. But guys, if you listen to the songs on Made in the AM, the song lyrics are very similar, and Louis and Harry have written these songs, so no coincidence. In the song, What a Feeling, the lyrics are, I wish I could be there right now. In the song, If I Could Fly, the lyrics are, I'm missing half of me when we are apart. In Home, the lyrics are, you will never feel like you're alone. I'll make this feel like home. So these lyrics have very similar meanings in them, and I'm pretty sure, I think these three songs are ones that Harry and Louis have written, and they basically all have the same theme of, like, I can't be without you. Like, that's basically the, like, the gist about it. Like, you don't even have to get all technical. There's only half of me when you're not around. So basically, it's this feeling of longing, like, oh, like, you're never around, and I really wish I could be with you like, right now. Um, there's only half of me when you're not around, blah, 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 blah. Like, that's, like, the theme of their song. So if you really relate that to Larry, it makes sense. You know, them not being able to be in public together. Like, they still love each other very much, but they're only half of a soul when the other is over there. And I think that's sad, but it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, this killed me. Okay, during the 1D lounge interview, when they were all done and they were basically saying, okay, you know, thanks for having us. When Harry thought the cameras were off, the camera showed him walking over to Louis and he was gonna go talk to him, you know, he was smiling, you know, he was gonna go, you know, basically just over to him. And then a big ass fucking logo for the fucking TV program comes on and now we can't see Harry and Louie anymore. So it's like, that, that logo was a fucking cock blocker. This almost feels like Wellington, like fucking 3.0, 4.0. I don't know how many Wellington experiences that we've had so far, but that's what it feels like. This logo comes up right when Harry's about to walk over to Louie. We don't even know what's happening. Like they could be doing anything behind that logo, but it just comes up and then the whole thing is over. So. It, like this just proves so much it's like when Harry thinks the cameras are off when he thinks the show is over like you know goodbye whatever blah 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 he starts to walk over towards Louis this just proves that Louis and Harry really do interact when cameras are off like oh cameras are off now let's go hang out so it's not like they hate each other and this is probably very evident like maybe back then like a year ago people would think that they weren't friends anymore but it's pretty evident now 2015 almost 2016 that there's a lot more under the surface and if they're not lovers they're definitely best friends and nothing less than that and also in that interview Louie and Harry were sitting next to each other not only that they were knee touching knee fucking touching that's how close they were sitting next to each other because sometimes when Louie and Harry sit next to each other they're just kind of like there's like a little space between them. But no, they were so close that their knees were like actually on top of each other. And it was amazing. And I'm just glad. I, I don't know if they were cramped on a couch or anything. I'm not sure if they were. I don't think they were. But their knees were basically just like touching. And I, I could just feel the sparks from my computer screen. And during that same interview, Harry's hair was like in a turban. I don't know how that happened. I think this interview will be coming out soon. I, I kind of saw a little video of it. But I think... This was the interview with Nick Grimshaw, and it looked like Harry freaking was like just came out of bed, just took a shower, and they're like, Harry, hurry your ass up, you need to take an interview, or like do an interview, and then they just forced him out of the shower, and now he's sitting here. He looked miserable, and then you see him take it off or whatever, but he looked really good in it. Like, I'm like, huh, bow down to the Buddha. His face looks so funny, he's like, really? Really, bitches, you're, you're making me wear this turban? I just came out of the shower. And you just interrupted me and you're making me do this dumbass interview that I have no intentions on even doing and I don't give a fuck. You know, that's what basically he looked at he looked like. And basically when all the boys were looking at Harry with the turban, Louis was the last one to look away. So take that as you will. They sang the song four or five seconds by Rihanna. Oh my gosh, the harmonies in that one. I think I like this better than the actual song. So I, I didn't even know that was coming. Like it was great. And then they sang Torn. One, this just proves how much One Direction really care about us. They know what the fans want. They knew that this is what we wanted all along. They knew we would like it, blah, blah, blah. It was a huge surprise to us. And just by them, like, seeing this song torn, just hearing the difference between the 2010 version and then, the, you know, like, the 2015 version, it was beautiful. You can tell how much they've improved. If you hear the 2010 one, it's basically just Liam and uh, Harry singing the whole time. This version, there were harmonies. I'm not sure, but I think it was like two, three part harmony or whatever. Louis actually had a fucking solo in the song Torn. Like in 2010, Louis had no solo. He was probably just like a backup fucking singer or whatever. No, Louis had a solo in Torn. Beautiful. And it would, like, Harry's voice, all their voices just sounded 
deeper, raspier. The song sounded different, but the same at the same time. I, I can't even explain it. Like if you just heard the song Torn, this was a gift from the gods above, from the Zayn Malik's above. I don't even think I can say that anymore because Zayn's not there, but like, fuck. Th that was, I think that refreshed me. That really uh, made all the bad stuff from 2015 go away. Like aside from that Larry hug that we got from the last concert, I think them singing Torn would be the second thing on my list that just made me take my last breath and <laughs> die. I think in this fandom, you just have to learn that you're just going to like die over and over and over again. And it's fine, you know, it's great. Oh, and there were these radio audios of the boys talking about the Made in the AM album and all that. And you could like move the little dial to hear the different audios. And on one of the dial things, and all the audios were actually on a post on Tumblr, one of them, they, all of them were normal, like, you know, current ones talking about the album, but there was fucking one that was from 2012, and it was Louis saying, oh, people genuinely think me and Harry are in a relationship, and I'm just here wondering, why would they put that in this fucking audio thing when, they're, when the boys are supposed to be talking about the Made in the AM thing? Like, it's all the current audios, like, from maybe, like, a few weeks ago. Why would they put in this old-ass audio from 2012 that nobody, nobody gives a fuck about anymore and nobody cares about anymore? Like, we all know that was, like, so stupid. Like, it wasn't even a denial. Like, but my theory about it was they knew that One Direction are still drawing in new fans, and I think people were thinking, like, maybe we can trick these new fans into thinking that this audio was current, that they just did this audio a week ago and then people will not believe in Larry because Louie just said this. Like, people genuinely think me and Harry are in a relationship, but we just started off saying we're good friends, which, all that bullshit, that's not even a denial. I'm not even going back to that 2012 audio because that was some bullshit. But my question was, why bring that back? Like, why, even if there was new fans, why would you trick them into thinking that this was a new audio and then them now thinking, Larry's not real or like something like that. I just don't get that like their team might be still going through extents to try to like convince people that Larry can't possibly be real. I, I just don't understand. Like, yeah, we're getting all this next to you stuff still, which is awesome. I feel like Larry's improving, but at the same time, I feel like there's still a long way to go. There were other theories about uh, this whole audio thing that maybe they put out this audio so that there are new fans this will this would be an excuse to look up this Larry thing. Because, you know, if new fans are coming into the fandom, maybe they don't know about Larry. So as soon as they hear this audio, like this, you know, throwback Thursday, they might say, oh, I'm really interested in this. I have no idea about this Larry thing. What are they talking about? I'm going to look it up. So basically, they're giving fans a chance to look up this, look more into Larry, therefore maybe start to believe it. So that's another point of view for having this audio. It could either be they don't want people to believe in Larry or they want people to really be curious about this whole Larry thing and start to look up stuff. So there's two different angles you can look at it. I swear, if it's the second theory, like them wanting fans, like new fans to look up this thing about Larry because they're curious about it or something, then that just proves that they're milking the whole Larry thing and they want people to know. So you could think either way. I'm still kind of confused why it was there, but I was just really surprised when I heard it. Liam confirmed that they're taking a two year break. And this was really a surprise to me because at first I thought it'd just be a one year break and I was already dying because of that. I'm like one year, okay, this is gonna be a long ass year. One year is gonna go by so slow. But now that they said two years, if they're gonna be gone for two years starting 2016, I'm going to be like in my third or fourth year of college by then. Like, I don't even know if I'll still like One Direction. Like I'm really scared if, if they're taking a two year break, like. What am I going to be doing in terms of YouTube videos? Like, I got to think of the stuff. So, <laughs> thanks One Direction. But, you know, Liam basically said that they're going to be taking this time to write more songs, find themselves, figure out what they're going to be doing in the world, you know. And I really respect that. So, if, if they need two years, then so be it. But I just know it's going to be a long-ass two years. Guess I'm going into hibernation. It's been said that the song No Control is going to be on Just Dance 2016. I don't play Just Dance because I don't dance. I don't do any of that. I might just get the game just because of that song. I'll be like, No Control. And I'm never going to do that again. <laughs> In another interview, they were asked how they keep themselves occupied in hotels. And Louis was like, Oh, we play some FIFA. And he was about to say something else. He stuttered. He's like, 
yeah, you know, we play FIFA. Like, he basically canceled out the whole idea he was going to say, which we don't know what he was going to say, but he's like, no, we play FIFA. And Harry looks over at him, and he gives him the smuggest look. Like, Harry's just smiling there. He's kind of looking a little awkward, too. He's like, yep, FIFA. FIFA is basically code for um, sex or something like that, because we've had three instances before in interviews. Louis and Harry having sex 2015 is equivalent to playing FIFA. Louis and Harry having sex in 2011 was equivalent to Mario Kart, and then last year it was equivalent to just a bit of banter, and now it's FIFA. So I, I don't really know what Harry and Louis' sex life is like. If it's like FIFA, then uh, <laughs> score. In the London session, they played a fetus X Factor Larry moment on the screen. Like Louis, like okay, all the boys were like sitting like right in front, and then behind them was a huge ass screen, and they were playing the moment of uh, One Direction on the stage stairs and it was when Louis was next to Harry on the stairs and Louis's like what about you Harry remember their heads together and then like it looked like Louis was going in for a kiss and then Harry was like smelling Louis's head and he was smiling we all know that moment on the stairs during the video diaries um but basically they showed that moment I'm not sure if they just showed that moment or if it was the whole video diary. It was probably the whole video diary, but that little snippet was only on the Twitter video. But it's like the whole room went crazy. Everybody was screaming and I'm pretty sure the boys were like, what the fuck, why is everybody yelling? But I'm pretty sure they probably got the hint like, oh, with the Larry moments up there, that's why everyone's screaming. It happened during the Made in the AM playlist party, like that whole Larry moment during the If I Could Fly video, everyone went crazy in the room. Same thing happened here. Everyone went crazy over that Larry moment. Everyone was screaming and it was beautiful it proves that most of the fandom like 99% of it is like Larry shippers and everyone in that room was like a Larry shipper and it was just so cute I say even if you're not a Larry shipper you have to admit that most Larry moments are fucking cute so that that just shows how much power we have it was just amazing to hear that reaction in that room I'm still surprised that they even showed a Larry moment like before that was like banned like they couldn't show anything like that in public so it's just cool how they're using these fetus Larry moments now to like in front of the fans and if you're keeping up with the RBB account um the account showed a picture of Rainbow Bondage Bear and Small Bondage Bear on a bench together and a lot of people were analyzing this picture saying oh this means this this means this blah 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 like the little pin saying like if I could fly or like something about flying or whatever and they related that to the, the if I could fly song I don't know this many things that people are analyzing on it but it's just cool that the rainbow bondage bear account is still updating us on things and we're still seeing pictures and stuff like cute little pictures and the picture was taken in broad daylight and people are like oh my gosh if Louie and Harry took this in broad daylight how come nobody saw them do it this account really confuses me all right so if you want to know more that's been happening with One Direction then like and subscribe because I make videos you know once a week and I'll see you guys later bye